Okay. So, uh, purines and pyrimidines are the commonly asked questions in biochemistry. Uh, purines and pyrimidines basically belongs to the category of acidic amino acids. They are basically came from uh, glutamine, aspartate and glycine. They belong to that. Then, uh, phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate is synthesized from ribose 5-phosphate. It is a product in pentose 5-phosphate pathway or HMP shunt. It is a source of sugar for purine nucleotides. Then uh, there is a term salvage pathway of purine synthesis. It is used by uh, cells like leukocytes, brain and RBCs. So uh, the conversion of IMP that is ionosine 5 monophosphate to either AMP and GMP, adenosine monophosphate and guanine monophosphate is highly regulated. Krishnian syndrome that is a disorder of purine metabolism. It affects males only. In early childhood, it is due to deficiency of enzyme HPRT1 enzyme, which is commonly asked question. That is HGPRTase. It is associated with the juvenile gout, renal, and bladder stones. The patient here presents with the neurological and behavioral abnormalities like dystonia, jerking movement, chorea, balismus. Child cannot walk and requires assistance in sitting, and he uses wheelchair. There will be self-mutilating behavior that is the characteristic point. It includes biting, head banging. These are very common features in Lishnian syndrome. Next is the uh, metabolism of lipids and fat. So <coughs> coming to fatty acid synthesis also known, uh, also known by de novo li lipogenesis. It occurs in the cytosol of cell. It is synthesized from acetyl-CoA that we learned in the TCA cycle and glycolysis. So, uh, fatty acids are synthesized from acetyl-CoA. Archidonic acids are fatty acids, so it is also synthesized from acetyl-CoA. It is uh, acetyl-CoA carboxylase enzyme is present in both cytosol and in the mitochondria. The uh, acetyl-CoA uh, is the main uh, rate limiting step, is the main key enzyme in fatty acid synthesis. The end product of fatty acid synthesis is palmitic acid. And cofactors to remember that B human, that is the mnemonic, B biotin, H HCO, magnesium, MN, A ATP, and NADPH. These are cofactors for fatty acid synthesis. Here, NADPH is utilized, and uh, fatty acid synthesis is promoted by insulin, citrate, high carbohydrate diet, and fat free diets. Insulin promotes lipogenesis by increasing the activity of acetyl-CoA carboxylase and it is inhibited by palmityl-CoA, CAMP and glucagon. Okay, remember these two and then uh, lipogenic carbohydrates are fructose. Okay, coming to triglyceride synthesis and breakdown, fatty acids are stored in the, uh, stored in the form of triglycerides and uh, these uh, somatomedins uh, also type of triglyceride, they have anti lipogenesis lipolytic effect. Lipoproteins are basically lipids plus apolipoproteins. So, apoproteins are the protein component of uh, apolipoproteins. Uh, these are uh, acting as uh, activator enzyme. These apolipoproteins are apoc 2 C1 uh, and apoALS that is LCAT activator. They act as an enzyme and as a ligand. Okay. Next term is chylomicron. Uh, these are uh, elevated, uh, elevated, and lipase enzyme like LP and HSL are late rate, rate limiting steps in the fatty acid synthesis or TG synthesis. Coming to cholesterol synthesis, it is the rate limiting. Its rate limiting step or the enzyme is HMG CoA reductase. It is promoted by insulin and thyroid hormones and inhibited by CAMP, glucagon, and glucocorticoid, as earlier we have seen in fatty acid synthesis. And uh, they are structurally belonging to the class of steroids. They are precursor of bile acids, sex steroids, corticosteroids, and vitamin D. Coming to fatty acid oxidation, it occurs in the mitochondria. All the above ones were taking place in the cytosol. So, uh, fatty acid oxidation occurs in the mitochondria. Long chain fatty acid penetrates the inner mitochondrial membrane by carnitine palmitoyl transporters, that is CPT1. Uh, the uh, acyl CoA is for the fatty acid oxidation carnitine transporter. Okay, the number of ATPs produced from palmitic acid is uh, 
129 and from stearic acid it is 146 so uh, active fatty acid uh, is formed from acyl coa and active acetate is forming by acetyl coa coming to beta oxidation so acetyl coa liberated in each cycle forms 10 atp through curb cycle and electron transport chain Oxidation of palmitic acid yields 7 NADH and 5 FADH2 plus 8 acetyl CoA. Again, these 8 acetyl CoA is again going into the fatty acid synthesis uh, cycle. Each acetyl CoA is giving you 3 NADH, 1 FADH2, and 1 GTP during the curb cycle. The uh, defect in beta oxidation of fatty acid leads to hypoglycemia. Then Zell, there is a term Zellweger's syndrome that is due to the inherited uh, absence of peroxisomes. Another uh, term is Jamiakan sickness that is due to the ingestion of unripe fruits of tree which contains toxin hypoglycine. These two terms should be remembered Zellweger's syndrome and Jamiakan sickness. That is because of the uh, toxin hypoglycine and that is because of the absence of peroxisomes. Then uh, polyunsatur about polyunsaturated fatty acid, what it contains, there will be increased total cholesterol, increased high density lipoprotein, decreased triglycerides and decreased LDN. Then uh, estrogen also affects the uh, lipid profile. It increases the triglycerides in HDL and decreases the LDN. Coming to the lipoproteins. So, free fatty acid in plasma are uh, transported as albumin plus free fatty acid complex. Then, uh, chylomicrons are absent in plasma. LDL receptors are present on the liver as well as extrahepatic tissue. Then, these are some uh, single liners. Lipoproteins with least mobility have the least mobility in the electrophoresis. The most mobile one is HDL. And the least mobile one is the chylomicrons. Then chylomicrons have the least density. High density lipoproteins, HDL. Least density lipoproteins are chylomicron. These are earlier discussed. Then maximum concentration of exogenous triglyceride is seen in chylomicron. Maximum concentration of endogenous triglyceride is VLDL. Major lipoprotein of blood or plasma is LDL. Maximum content of cholesterol is seen in LDL, low density lipoproteins. The major lipoprotein for VLDL, IDL, and LDL is EPO B100. EPO lipoprotein associated with HDL are EPO A, EPO C2, and EPO E. These are arginine rich. Then coming to uh, Tangier's disease. Tangier's disease uh, is because of deficiency of ABCA1 protein. Coming to fish eye disease, that is because of LC80 deficiency, partial LC80 deficiency. EPOD is the marker of androgen insensitivity syndrome. EPOD. Then, lipoprotein lipase does not require EPOC2 as a cofactor. Then, insulin is associated with the fatty acid synthesis, it does not cause ketogenesis. All sphingolipids are formed from ceramide. Choline is the base of sphingomyelin and lecithin. Remember the term choline associated with sphingomyelin and lecithin. Coming to Fabry's disease and Kraft's disease, these are associated with the sphingolipidosis. Then glucocerebrosides uh, are present in the gouchers and neuroblastoma cells. Then uh, about brain lipids. Sphingosine is formed by the condensation of palmitic acid with amino acid serine. So the uh, brain lipids are basically sphingosines. They are formed by palmitic acid with the amino acid serine. Then that is the difference between HDL and chylomicrons. So HDL are basically good cholesterol and uh, they are uh, having the maximum mobility and maximum density HDL. Then uh, maximum protein, uh, EPO-A, EPO-C2 and EPO-E are associated with HDL. EPO-B100 is associated with chylomicron. Then phospholipids are associated maximally with the HDL. Lipid content or triglyceride content is maximum in chylomicron. Uh, the size of chylomicron is largest and that of HDL is smallest. 
so this is a table for uh, different fatty acid like saturated fatty acid mono unsaturated fatty acid polyunsaturated short chain polyunsaturated fatty acid and poly unsaturated fatty acid so about uh, saturated fatty acid it has butyric acid palmitic acid stearic acid and lower fatty acids these are worse fats or trans fats these are known as worse fats or trans fats mono unsaturated fatty acids are not essential fatty acids these are oleic and aldehydic acid next is short chain polyunsaturated fatty acid these are linoleic or uh, delta linoleic acid these are essential fatty acids and their sources sunflower oil coming to arachidonic acid uh, that is also polyunsaturated fatty acid it is an unsaturated one linoleic acid is the most essential fatty acid this one then uh, isopentanoic acid epa is present in the fish oil that is also important then docosahexaenoic acid uh, dha is present in the best breast milk placenta and required for the growth of brain and retina then coming to lipid accumulating diseases also known as lipidosis so uh, these are basically uh, lipid accumulating diseases and the deficient enzyme and how they are getting accumulated so uh, the first one here is nimmen picks disease the deficient enzyme is sphingomyelinase accumulate there will be accumulation of sphingomyelin next is tsarch disease that is the deficient enzyme uh, hexosaminidase a accumulation of gangliosides are there gmt gm2 gangliosid will be seen in the tsarch disease sandhoff disease again hexosaminidase a and b are affected gangliosid gm2 will be seen and also uh, seen in uh, also known as lysosomal storage disorder parbers disease there will be deficiency of ceraminidase accumulation of ceramide will be seen febrez disease alpha galactosidase a deficiency will be seen and sphingolipid globotriacyl ceramide will be seen in the febrez disease crops disease deficient enzyme is beta galactosidase or lactase there will be accumulation of galactoserebrosite galactosphingosine and alpha sphingolipid pompe's disease there will be deficiency of alpha glucosidase and there will be accumulation of glycogen gaucher's disease there will be deficiency of beta gl uh, glucosidase and there will be accumulation of glycosyl ceramide glucoserebrosides then uh, coming to the Uh, mnemonic and the different uh, this table is showing you the, the mnemonic for different diseases and the enzymes affected like tsars disease is uh, mnemonic is tia here the enzyme affected is hexaminidase a okay so tia tsars disease then sen sen is uh, for sandoff disease here the enzyme affected is hexaminidase a and b so tia sen finally finally uh, f for farber's disease the enzyme affected is cerebro uh, cere ceraminidase so tia sen finally tsa sandoff farber's disease then pix for nimmen pix disease enzyme affected is sphingomyelinase so enzyme here is s next is pompase pix pg okay p is for pompase disease enzyme affected is alpha glucosidase a gluco then g is for gaucher's disease that enzyme affected is beta glucosidase b glucosidase then from f for fabrice disease enzyme affected is alpha galactosidase that is alpha galacto then karnataka crepes disease k for crepes disease enzyme affected is beta galactosidase so here alpha and beta glucosidase are affected here alpha and beta galactosidase are affected so the mnemonic is tia sen finally picks pg from karnataka here how to remember the enzymes tia a that is hexaminidase a sen 
hexaminidase A B finally is Farber's disease C ceramidase then Niemann picks picks here S is for sphingomyelinase then A B A B here P G से है both A glucosidase alpha glucosidase and beta glucosidase here from uh, Fabry's and Krebs alpha galactosidase and Krebs beta galactosidase so by this you can remember the mnemonics next is the inborn error of metabolism IAM so uh, there are many inborn errors of metabolism the important question which they ask is either they will give you directly the term of the disease and they will ask you the deficient enzyme okay next is they will give you the clinical picture of the disease and they will ask you the diagnosis they may also along with that question along with the clinical picture of the disease they may give you the deficient enzyme and you have to uh, choose the right diagnosis okay so uh, focus on these three parts uh, the part of inborn error the clinical features and the deficient enzyme okay the findings of the urine may also be a part of clinical picture so we will discuss that also so first is essential pentose urea the deficiency uh, the patient here will present with uh, increased uh, alpha xylitol in the blood the deficient enzyme is alpha xylitol dehydrogenase so there will be increased alpha xylitol in the urine next is hereditary fructose intolerance the uh, the deficient enzyme is Aldolose, aldolase B. Next is diabasic amino acid urea. There will be increased excretion of diabasic amino acids in the urine, and that is ola, that is ornithine, lysine, and arginine. They will be increased in the urine. Uh, the disease name is diabasic amino acid urea. Next is cysteine urea. The increased amino acid in the uh, urine will be cola. Remember the mnemonic for cola, cysteine ornithine, lysine and arginine. Okay, next is cystinosis. The deficient enzyme is cysteine reductase. Next is classical homocysteine urea. Here the deficient enzyme is uh, cystathione beta synthetase. Uh, there is abnormal metabolism of methionine. Here in the uh, urine we will get overflow of amino acid urea cyanide on the urine. The patient here will present with the cord fish vertebrae, hepatomegaly, osteoporosis, ectopia lentis and Charlie Chaplin gait. Next is uh, Noram's disease. The deficient enzyme is lecithin cholesterol SIR transferase LCAT. The patient here will present with the failure of cholesterol esterification. Next is orotic acid urea. The deficient enzyme is OMP decarboxylase. Patient will present with megaloblastic anemia. Next is l urea. The patient will have deficiency of homogenistic acid oxidase. Urine is dark on standing in the air. That is the only sign in the children. Patient here may present with the deposition of homogenistic acid in the joint arthritis. Then ochronosis will be seen. There will be generalized pigmentation of connective tissue in this condition. Next is phenylketone urea that has deficiency of uh, phenylalanine hydroxylase, phenylalanine monooxygenase. There will be mousy musty order in the urine. That is the uh, characteristic point and that is commonly asked question. In albinism, uh, there will be deficiency of tyrannase enzyme. There, there will be inherited defect in melanocyte of eye and skin. Next is tyrosinosis. The deficient enzyme is fumaryl acetoacetate hydroxylase. The urine will have boiled cabbage order and the patient will here present with the tyrosinemia type 1 hepatorenal. Okay. Next is hypermethionemia. The deficient enzyme is s adenosyl homocysteine hydro hydrolase. Uh, again, the patient will have tarry urine or boiled cabbage urine order. Next is methyl syrup urine disease. There will be a deficiency of alpha keto acid dehydrogenase complex. There will be increased uh, lysine, isoleucine, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And the urine will have burnt sugar order. Uh, the patient will have uh, leucine, isoleucine, and valine ketone urea. And there will be defective oxidative decarboxylation. Heart nup disease is associated with the deficiency of niacine. 
मिथाइल मेलोनाइल एसिडीमिया इज एसोसिएटेड विद द डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ मिथाइल मेलोनाइल को ए म्यूटेज देयर विल बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ किटोसिस हाइपो हाइपरग्लाइसीमिया एक्यूट एंड रिकरेंट पेनक्रेटाइटिस एंड हाइपर एमोनिया नेक्स्ट इज मल्टीपल कार्बोक्सिलेज डेफिशिएंसी द पेशेंट विल हैव हियर टॉम कैट यूरिन ऑर्डर नेक्स्ट इज ट्राई मिथाइल एमिन यूरिया द पेशेंट विल हैव रोटिंग फिश यूरिन ऑर्डर एंड देयर विल बी फिश ऑर्डर सिंड्रोम हॉकिंस यूरिया there will be deficiency in uh, beta hydroxy phenyl pyruvate de- uh, hydroxylase and the patient will have swimming pool order of urine next is glutaric acid urea there will be deficiency of hmg coa lyase and the patient will have sweat sweaty feet or acric order in the urine 3OH3 methyl glutaric acid urea will have cat urine order isovaleric acidemia will have sweaty feet order in the urine there will be deficiency of isovaleric coa dehydrogenase patient will present with ketoacidosis hyperglycemia and hyper next is about the uh, about uh, one liners that are commonly asked uh, from the topic carbohydrates so uh, all the carbohydrates in the humans are basically dextro except fuco, uh, fucose and iduronate dextrose or uh, d glucose is a carbohydrate currency of the body and when it is uh, carbohydrates are taken in excess they are stored as a glycogen so uh, disaccharides on hydrolysis give uh, monosaccharides and like uh, lactose uh, will give glucose plus galactose sucrose will give glucose plus fructose sucrose uh, will also give l uh, glucose and fructose maltose will give glucose plus glucose so uh, the disaccharide enzyme are of two type that is beta galactosidase and alpha glucosidase so uh, deficiency of one for glucosidase is seen in pompe's disease and uh, glycosides accumulation is seen in this condition in pompe's disease next lactase deficiency uh, there will be bloating watery diarrhea recurrent vague abdominal pain and failure to thrive in case of lactase deficiency in case of sucrose isomaltase deficiency there, uh, there will be bloating watery diarrhea and failure to thrive in case of ingestion of sucrose or glucose in hereditary fructose intolerance that is because of deficiency of aldolase b patient will have bloating watery diarrhea recurrent vague abdominal pain and failure to thrive in response to ingestion of fruits in uh, galactosemia what is happening there is deficiency of galactase 1 phosphate uh, uridyl transferase mainly the patient here will present uh, with the uh, uh, accumulation of galactitol or dalkitol uh, that is causing premature cataract the patient here will have hepatotoxicity jaundice and mental retardation increased galactose in the urine or galactose urea will give you positive benedict's test next is rifampsin's disease that is because of phytinate alpha oxidase defect then triple sugar iron agar medium is the differential medium containing lactose sucrose and small amount of glucose sulfate and it is a its ph indicator is phenol red milk sugar is de galactose and heparin is an example of glycose amino glycan so in case of deficiency of galactokinase there will be accumulation of galactitol and it give you premature cataract but there will be no mental retardation as in case of galactosemia uh, increased galactose in the urine will give you again positive benedict's test then uh, another deficiency here is of epimyris and it is it is of mildest form next are gags or glycose amino glycanes so the main uh, gags are hyaluronic acid chondroitin sulfate keratin sulfate 1 and 2 heparin heparin sulfate and dermatin sulfate so uh, they basically are formed by uronic acid and hexamine uh, hexamine or maybe galactosamine or glucosamine uronic acid can be glucuronic acid or iduronic acid they are degraded by lysosomal hydrolases and uh, their genetic defect of gags may lead to mps or hurler's syndrome proteoglycan like uh, 
आर फॉर्म बाय ग्लाइकोजमाइनोग्लाइकेन्स और म्यूकोपोलीसेक्रीहाइड प्लस कोर प्रोटीन ग्लाइकोप्रोटीन्स आर बेसिकली पॉलीपेप्टाइड बाय बोन प्लस शॉर्ट ऑलिगोसेक्राइड्स दिस इज अ टेबल ऑफ पॉलीसेक्रीहाइड्स सो द मेजर कैटेगरीज आर एसिडिक सल्फेट फ्री और नॉन सल्फेटेड पॉलीसेक्रीहाइड्स एग्जाम्पल इज हेलोरोनिक एसिड इट इज अबेंडेंट इन विटरस ह्यूमर ऑफ आई एंड सनोवियल फ्लूड्स नेक्स्ट इज एसिडिक सल्फेट कंटेनिंग दीज आर फाउंड एज कैरेटिन सल्फेट कॉन्ड्रेटिन सल्फेट डेक्सट्रिन सल्फेट हेपेरिन सल्फेट एंड हेपेरिन कैरेटिन सल्फेट इज फाउंड बाय गैरेक्टोसोमाइन एंड ग्लूकोसोमाइन एंड इज मेनली मेंटेनिंग द कॉर्नियल ट्रांसपेरेंसी नेक्स्ट इज कॉन्ड्रेटिन सल्फेट एंड इट इज फाउंड बाय गैलेक्टोसोमाइन एंड ग्लूकोरोनिक एसिड एंड इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द कार्टिलेज बोन एंड कॉर्निया डेक्सट्रिन सल्फेट इज फॉर्म बाय गैलेक्टोसोमाइन एंड एडिरोनिक एसिड नेक्स्ट इज हेपेरिन सल्फेट दैट इज फॉर्म बाय ग्लूकोजोमाइन एंड एडिरोनिक एसिड एंड इज प्रेजेंट इन द एयोटिक वॉल स्किन फाइब्रोब्लास्ट हेपेरिन इज फॉर्म बाय डी ग्लाइकोजोमाइन एंड अल्फा एडिरोनिक एसिड एंड इट इज हाइएस्ट सल्फेटेड एम पी एस मोली मोनोपोली मोनोपोली सेक्रीहाइड्स Uh, then neutral polysaccharides are uh, rh blood group substances or abo blood group clinical picture of a patient they will give you uh, how the case is presenting to you and you have to make the diagnosis or you have to tell which enzyme is deficient in this condition okay so uh, firstly the commonly asked one is phenylketone urea so what is happening in phenylketone urea there is deficiency of enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase okay and its cofactor b4 next it is uh, next important point is it is autosomal recessive disorder the gene affected is affected is 12q there will be history of consanguinity in the family the patient here will present to you with blue eye blonde with mental retardation phenylketone urea is associated with mental retardation and blue eye blonde vomiting growth retardation fair skin eczematous skin rash hyperactivity seizures hepatitis mousy musty body odor these are, are, are again a part of clinical features of phenylketone urea it is of different type so type 1 called classic phenylketone urea is the defect in uh, phenylalanine hydroxylase type 2 type 3 are atypical variants and they are because of cofactor b4 deficiency Uh, that is dihydro biopetrin reductase deficiency then type 3 type 4 are variants of phenylketone urea there will be deficiency or defect in biosynthesis of cofactor bh2 type 4 plus 5 phenylketone urea hyperphenylalaninemia is because of defect in the biosynthesis of bh2 that is dihydro biopetrin BH4 that is tetrahydrobiopetrin uh, represents where there is deficiency of BH4 there will be mental retardation hyperalanemia and myoclonic seizures the screening test for phenylketone urea is Q3 test using bacillus subtilis now it is uh, replaced by TMS that is tandem mass spectrometry the lab diagnosis will give you emerald green color with a uh, uh, ferrous chloride in the urine and phenylalanine is tetrogenic amino acid pregnant mothers with phenylketone urea are prone to give birth to babies with microcephaly mental retardation and cardiac defects guthrie's test which was the screening test can detect phenylketone urea galactosemia and msud that is maple syrup urine disease then coming to uh, tandem mass spectrometry it is uh, used in the newborn for screening of amino acidemias like pku phenylketone urea maple syrup urine disease tyrosinemia cetrolinemia homocysteine urea organic acidemias and fatty acid oxidation defects next term is uh, garrod's tetrad that has cysteine urea albinism alkaptone urea and pentose urea the mnemonic for this is cap amino acid urea uh, related to sulfur containing amino acids are cysteine urea homocysteine urea and cysteine urea blue sclera are seen in uh, all the variants of the phenylketone urea plus in the alkaptone urea and 
ऑस्ट्रोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्टा रिमेंबर द टर्म ब्लू स्क्लेरा इन दी पिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया एल्केप्टन यूरिया एंड ऑस्ट्रोजेनेसिस इम्परफेक्टा नेक्स्ट इज एल्केप्टन यूरिया इट इज अगेन ऑटोजोमर रिसेसिव फिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया वाज आल्सो ऑटोजोमर रिसेसिव इट इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ होमोजेनेस्टिक एसिड ऑक्सीडेज इन टायरोसिन कैटाबॉलिक पाथवे क्लिनिकल फीचर विल बी डिपोजिशन ऑफ एल्केप्टन बॉडीज इन कनेक्टिव टिश्यूज कार्टिलेजेस नोन एज ओक्रोनोसिस lumbar vertebrate is intervertebral disc uh, will uh, be calcified and give you back pain there will be bamboo spine or parrot beak spine in the x ray there will be arthralgia renal and prostatic calculis there will be uh, dark or black uh, urine on exposure due to presence of homogenistic genistic acid next is tyrosinemia uh, the type 1 type 2 type 1 is because of deficiency of fumarole acetoacetate Uh, hepatorenal deficiency the patient will have cabbage like urinary order next uh, type 2 oculocutaneous form is because of deficiency of tyrosine tyros- uh, transaminase patient will present with corneal ulcers hyperkeratotic non pruritic plaque over the palms and soles friable tufted hairs and mental retardation type 3 will have para hydroxyphenyl pyruvate pyruvate hydroxylase deficiency homocysteine urea autosomal recessive disorder uh, is of methionine metabolism that is due to defect of cystothione beta synthetase there will be increase of homocysteine in the blood and urine patient will present with mitral regurgitation osteoporosis tall structure kyphosis cord fish vertebrae hepatomegaly ectopia lentis there will be subluxation of the lens charlie chaplin gait there will be stroke myocardial infarction urine will uh, be po- uh, urine uh, test will be through cyanide nitroprusside test there will be presence of cysteine urea the uh, enzyme uh, deficiency will be of cola that was cysteine ornithine lysine arginine so uh, here there will be increase of these three uh, amino acids in the urine the patient here will present with this cysteine stones along with these clinical features next is cystinosis cystinosis is a autosomal recessive condition because of deposition of cysteine crystals in the lysosomes patient will present with cysteine accumulation in the body tissues in wbcs kidney cornea next is maple syrup urine disease commonly asked the enzyme deficiency is of uh, alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase there will be increased uh, amino acid isoleucine leucine and valine in the urine patient will present with the cns defect mental retardation and urine smells like maple syrup or burnt sugar next disorder is isovaleric acidemia there will be defect in metabolism of branched chain alpha keto acid that is again live leucine isoleucine and valine deficient enzyme is isovaleric coenzyme a dehydrogenase in the urine patient will present with the cheesy odor of breath and body and sweaty feet smell of the urine next is heart knobs disease the protein defect is of slc 6a19 there will be decreased absorption of tryptophan and neutral amino acid there will be niacin deficiency plegra like features will be seen the patient here presents with the dermatitis neuropsychiatric manifestations Uh, and in the laboratory investigation they will give you obermeier's test for indole in the urine next is hyperoxaluria there will be defect of oxalic acid metabolism the primary hyperoxaluria type 1 is because of deficiency of liver peroxysmal enzyme alanine galoxylate amino transferase which helps in conversion of galaxylate to glycine next type 2 is because of deficiency of galoxylate uh, gal- reductase or hydroxypyruvate reductase there will be nephrocalcinosis recurrent nephrolithiasis and end stage renal disease as the finding in hyperoxaluria next metabolic disorder is galactosemia there will be auto uh, there is autosomal recessive disease Uh, galactokinase converts the galactose to galactose 1 phosphate the patient here will present with the feature of conju- increased conjugated hyperbilirubinemia failure to thrive hepatosplenomegaly vomiting hypoglycemia irritability amino acid urea 
cirrhosis and ascites the uh, urine will be positive for galactose the uh, positive benedict's test and clinetase test will be positive urine chromatography oxidase test will be positive next is hereditary next is hereditary fructose intolerance hfi which is a rare autosomal recessive disorder there will be deficiency or inhibition of one phosphofructoaldolase or aldolase b patient present at the age of 9 months usually uh, when weaning starts and fluid and juices are introduced there will be abdominal distension bloating and flatulence with honey and table sugar as they contain fructose so patient should avoid fruits and sweets it may lead to liver damage so the test positive will be urine uh, reducing sugar and clinetase test will be positive uh, fructose h breath test will be the diagnostic test for hfi okay next is essential fructose urea so it is a benign condition asymptomatic defect of intermediary metabolism it is an inherited disorder of uronic acid pathway deficiency of enzyme alpha xyloxidase hydrogenase uh, due to defect of fructose kinase or ketohexokinase uh, here the enzyme involved in the degradation of fructose to fructose 1 phosphate in the liver it is an autosomal recessive condition there is variation in khk gene that is ketohexokinase gene located on uh, chromosome 2p is responsible for essential